you're going to build your very first website, more or less a, a hello world of sorts. And go ahead and open up your brackets. Okay, the brackets icon, brackets icon over here. Uh, this is the default file it came with. And I'm just going to go to File, New, or you can do Command N or Control N on PC. Okay, and we can save it here, Command S, and just save it wherever you want. I'm going to put mine in the desktop so I can delete it later. And what we're going to want to do is just call this, let's say, hello.html. You need the .html in this file to indicate that it's an HTML file. And I also wanted to call it hello uh, and not index because sometimes we get in the routine of thinking everything has to be named index, which is not the case. Index is really just so web servers uh, can recognize the, where the starting entry point of the of the web application is. So your apps do have to have an index uh, for large scale applications. In this case, we'll be just fine. First things first is we're going to do something called the declaration, and it's going to say doc type HTML. Now, what this means is the browser needs to know what version of HTML we're using. Okay. In this case, if it just says HTML, it means we're using HTML5. If it was a different version of HTML, like 4 point something, uh, it would have that version number in here. But we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Awesome. Making great progress so far. So what we need to do first now is a tag here called head. There we go. Notice how it added that for us automatically. That's one of the benefits of working with an IDE is it added the end tag for us automatically. And a tag in HTML has the less than sign on the left side of it and the greater than sign on the other side of it. And you end a tag uh, by doing the forward slash, as you can see right here. Okay. And, oh, we need one more thing actually here. We start off with HTML always. And we can just actually grab this here and Command X or Control X and put the head inside of the HTML. And if you're new to any DevSlopes courses, you may be thinking, why why did he do this one first and this one? Did he make a mistake? And the answer is yes. And we don't actually edit out our mistakes in our courses because what tends to happen is new people will see, in other courses, new people will see the instructor doing everything perfectly. And a few things happen. First off, you don't get to see the real world problem solving, which is critical to learning how to code. And secondly, you start to feel like they're perfect at coding and you're not. And it, it starts to actually discourage you and it happens all the time to our students. So our students over a long period of time wanted us to show uh, some of the, the minor mistakes uh, so they can know, first off, that we're human beings. But secondly, so they can know how to solve those problems. In this case, we did HTML and then head. Okay. And we're also going to put over here what's called a body. Okay, just like on a human, you got the head and you got the body. And if you already know HTML, you're probably thinking this is easy, and it is. This is this is a beginner lesson, okay? And so you always end with HTML, okay? And your document always have a head and have a body inside of it, okay? What's the difference? The head is where you can store things like CSS. You can store meta tags, information that only the browsers read. Uh, you can link things in there. And of course, you can put a title in here. So let's do that. Let's say title, and we're going to say... Uh, hello, Dev Slopes. And then, uh, so we got a little title there. All right. And what we can do is we can actually click this lightning bolt over here on the right hand side. It's going to pull open a browser window and it's going to let us do live coding, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, there's nothing on the page. But if you look at the tab up here, it says Hello, Dev Slopes. That's the title of the tab right there. Oh, so now you're starting to think, oh, I can put useful names in there uh, to give the user. Uh, a good description of which tab, what's going on on the tab that we're on, you know. So if this was uh, my actual website, DevSlopes, you know, this would probably say DevSlopes Learn to Code. Save it. And there, sure enough, it's updated over here on the tab. Okay. And then in the body, let's go ahead and just put in a, a title here. We're going to use a header. So we're going to use an H1. Okay. And we're going to say, Welcome to DevSlopes. You can write whatever you want. Save it. And look at that. We've got a nice header. And the header tag is specified with an H1, like so. There's multiple header sizes that you can have, though, OK? So let's go ahead and do, just for fun, an H2. I'm going to do Command plus the right arrow key to go all the way to the end, or Control and the right arrow key on Windows. Let's do an H3. Let's do an H4, like so. Just, just to show an example of what we can do. Want to learn how to code? Save. It's a little bit smaller, as you can see. Then you've come to the right place. A little bit smaller. So get started now.
Okay, so we're making progress. Look how easy it is to code. If you've never touched any type of code before, pat yourself on the back. You've actually built your very first website uh, all within a few minutes, okay? So we so far have worked with headers inside of a body, okay? Some really simple stuff. Uh, there's other things you can do as well too. You can write a paragraph. So let's say here's our website with all of its cool titles. And what we wanna do right now is give a little description of what the website is about. If you want to learn how to code, then there is no better place than DevSlopes. DevSlopes is the world's most effective and affordable platform to learn how to code. It's like, haven't said that before a million times. And look at that, we actually have writing on the page now. This is really cool. I think it's really cool. We haven't done any CSS, no styling. This is all just pure HTML. So we've worked with headers, we've worked with the body, we've worked with the head over here. This is coming together. Let's say that we want to emphasize something. We can do tags within tags. So we can say B for bold. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna command X or control X the word effective. And notice how over here it is uh, in bold right there. Pretty cool, huh? So there's, there's other type of effects. We're not gonna go over all of them right now, but uh, there's different things that you can do and you can do it relatively fast. Now notice if I press enter here, nothing's changing on the page. Why am I, I'm adding all these lines, but nothing's changing on the page, why? It's because HTML, okay, is a hypertext markup language, which means everything that displays on the page is based on the rules of the language. So adding spaces isn't gonna do anything. However, let's say that we wanted to keep writing. So let's say right here, uh, we wanted to say also join our email list to get awesome free stuff. Okay, so we're like, oh, we want this on a new line. How do we do that? Well, we can use a rule, BR. Ah, it's a line break and we can do it twice, okay? Pretty cool stuff. You may be used to seeing a, a forward slash in front of it. Oops, actually in, in, the, in the end of it there. Uh, but you don't need to do that anymore with HTML5, okay? Just BR, that means a line break and we're going here. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, maybe we also want to put um, a line in between, so we can just say HR, and it's gonna put a, a horizontal line in there, which is kind of cool. Also, join our email list to get awesome free stuff. We're just having a little bit of fun here. You're writing your own website. This is just a small step into the world of HTML, uh, but this is really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. But notice how these things are red over here. What does that mean exactly? Well, you would not get this if you were working in just a text pad, okay? You, you would not see this error, but luckily, uh, Brackets is smart enough to know that we're not doing things in the best possible. Yes, it's rendering over here, but something's wrong. And here's the reason, okay? We've got, within a paragraph, we've got a line, and it does not like that. So we got a problem, what should we do? Well, we need to rethink how we're structuring things. We do like the line, but maybe it doesn't make sense to have this also join our email list line here in the same paragraph as the other text. Interesting, right? So what we can do is we can actually take all that out. So let's take this BR out all the way to the exclamation point, command or control X. So we finish off our paragraph. Now we can just go here and paste, and you can do these. Some people like to do it like this to show that their line breaks, okay? And then we've got an HR here. So what we've done here is we've made two line breaks to bring it down twice, and then this is where the horizontal line is. Notice how nothing's red now. So if I save the page, aha, it's down there. Maybe it's a little too high, so we can delete one of these BRs. And it's starting to look good. If you wanted it further from the line, you could, of course, do another BR like so. But also, you don't want floating text. So how, what should we do? What should we do with this text here? It's still there, it's rendering, but we should probably put that for good measure uh, and for proper programming practices, put it inside the paragraph tags. So let's go ahead and command X that here and paste it here. And also give it, notice how it gave a little bit of an indent there, okay? So it has a little bit of formatting built into the rules of the language. And this is really starting to come together. Of course, the word free definitely deserves some emphasis. Let's go ahead and give it some now. We can use the EM tag for emphasis and we can just go ahead Oops, and paste it right in there. And notice how it's italicized. And maybe you're thinking, wait a minute, I've used the italic keyword before. 
Well, let's put the italic keyword over here under, over by affordable, which is just the I. Command X or Control X, the word. We'll put it in between. Okay, so notice how affordable is italicized and so is this. Well, it is slightly different. So emphasis means you want to give it stronger emphasis than the italicized version. So if you want something that has very strong emphasis, use the EM. Uh, that's also important for the code itself. Okay, if you need to, within your code and on the page, you want to recognize that this is a strong point, uh, then your developer or future developers will know, yes, let's leave it that way and make everything else less than that with an italicized. So it's not a huge difference, but, uh, and your user probably won't notice a difference, but uh, that's kind of the rule. That's how you do it. So you've learned a lot of things here. We've kind of went on. We could have kept playing with it here, but you've learned how to work with headers. You've learned that you need to have a doc type declaration over here to specify the what? What does this specify? If you said the version of HTML that you're using, then you'd be correct, which is HTML5 uh, by using the HTML here. And then you have opening HTML tag, a closing, a head, and a body. You can put the title within the head and you can link CSS files, which you'll learn later on, all right there from within the head portion and inside the body is where you actually have the content of your page. We worked with headers, sizes one through four. You can learn more about headers online. Um, in fact, most of this HTML stuff is online available. If you get confused or lost, you can learn it from there, uh, from the web. Just say, how do you do this in HTML? And you're going to find thousands of results. We learned how to work with paragraph tags, which have a little bit of formatting to make it nice. You can emphasize words, you can bold them, you can italicize them. Lots of cool stuff. You're just barely scratching the surface. Uh, this is what we used to do in the very beginning of HTML. Like, and when I say we, I, I meant web developers because it was literally the early 90s. And I was still a kid back then, but uh, there was no styling. Okay, it was all code just like this. And we had to do weird tricks and things like put uh, empty GIF images for indentation and things like that because uh, there was no indenting um, when uh, before CSS came out. And so we had to do weird things like that. Uh, and so right now you're just with the bare bones. You're like, you're coding like it was in 1991. So, uh, you know, if you lived back then, you'd, you'd be getting paid to do uh, work. But... There's so much more now, and you've got a lot more to learn. So let's go ahead and dive into the more advanced stuff. This is Mark Price with devslopes.com. Get ready to have some fun.